Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm hoping all of you are having a fantastic day. And for those of you who are new here, my name is Alicia. I'm a self-taught artist and I'm trying to get better at painting with watercolors. So in today's video, I'm going to be painting in my sketchbook. I'm using watercolor crayons and I've actually used these quite a bit um, to make kind of watercolor doodles um, using them before. You can actually, yeah, you can check it out on my Instagram, Artish Alicia, if you're interested in seeing more of them. I have quite a few on there. So I actually went into this spread knowing that I wanted to use these crayons, but I didn't really know what I wanted to paint. So I actually asked my boyfriend for some help this time. Uh, so yeah, he gave me a list of animals to paint, which include an armadillo, which I'm painting right now. Uh, also a sloth, a sheep, an elephant, a porcupine, a cougar, a tortoise, and a weasel. Um, generally, it kind of seemed like he stuck to the theme of terrestrial animals. Um, kind of more or less with the tortoise anyway. Um, and yeah, he I don't think he noticed because he's not a biologist, but these are also all vertebrates, um, which I just, yeah, my biologist brain really did pick up on that. So yeah, I actually, I find it really helpful for someone else to come up with the ideas of what I can draw or paint, um, especially when I'm having any kind of art block, which happens a lot. Um, so yeah, if you also have that issue, definitely please feel free to draw or paint along as I'm going, or yeah, use these prompts um, in your own art as well. Yeah, so kind of all the ones that he picked um, for different reasons in general, he was saying, you know, an armadillo is super cute, so why not? Also, the sloth, um, he's a big fan of sloths, and he thinks the internet's being mean to them right now, which I'm not sure what that means, but according to him, that's reason enough. Uh, sheep, why not? Um, elephant, also very, very cute. The porcupine, because they're prickly, and I think that's reason enough. Um, and yeah, everything else just because they're all... Very, very cute. So yeah, as you can see, I'm kind of going in with the watercolor crayons to sketch out and draw out the shape of the animals. And then I go in with either the same color or different colors to kind of fill in some of the area. Um, but I don't fill it all in. I definitely like to leave some white space. And that just kind of allows for um, when you go in with water, I really like to see, to blend some of the watercolor crayon with the water, but not all of it. Cause I like to see the different texture, kind of the texture of the crayon and the, you know, the texture of, I guess, water that's been blending it out. Um, and then also leaving a lot of white space. I really like that too. And it gives it more room to play around with when adding water. So yeah, um, kind of as I went, I, I didn't love how I did the armadillo and the sloth at the very beginning. Um, usually when I start off, I start off a little bit rough. It's almost like a little bit of a warm up. I probably actually should have done a warm up this day, but I didn't. So, oh well, I'm sure it's fine. Um, but I do, I do like the sheep and the elephants turning out really, really cute as well. And yeah, I really like the colors that I picked out for the sheep. Um, the blues in particular blend very, very well for these crayons, um, which I'm also using the blue for the porcupine as well, which I'm drawing right now. Yeah, I don't I don't know if it's because the watercolor crayons, so they're very, very old, I think. Um, just randomly found them in my parents' house one day. Um, I don't know how old they are. So the blues blend out really, really nicely with water, but not all the colors do. Um, the, some of the reds that were used in the elephant do as well, but yeah, I think the green, that I use for the cougar and the yellows don't really blend out super well. So yeah, I think I like how the cougar looks, but I don't think the colors will look the best in the way that I'm kind of envisioning them. Um, but that's, you know, that's okay. This is just kind of an easy doodle page. Um, yeah, something that anyone can draw up in their sketchbook. And yeah, for the tortoise, for the tortoise I was using kind of darker greens and browns, 
which I th think these ones blend fairly nicely. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll kind of see. I think I think they're okay, and I do I do like how the tur tortoise is kind of turning out. I think it looks it looks pretty cute. But yeah, I wasn't sure how much detail I wanted to go in with on the shell. Um, I kind of ended up. Yeah, I did kind of end up making all of the little shell details for the most part. Um, yeah, we'll see how that one turns out. Um, but yeah, here I have the weasel that I'm drawing, which I really, really like. I like how the weasel is turning out. I think it looks really, really cute. And again, kind of because I'm going with that blue watercolor crayon, I think it's going to turn out really good with the color. And yeah, after I draw out all of the different animals, I go in with just a clean paintbrush with some clean water uh, to kind of start blending them in. And again, unfortunately, the armadillo is kind of like the test animal right now because yeah, the blending didn't look super good in my opinion. Um, and then for the sloth, I mean, I think, it, I don't know. It, the, the colors seem to be blending, but I think my biggest issue with the sloth is that it looks more like a big or a, a teddy bear than anything else. It doesn't really look like a sloth. Um, yeah, but at least for the sheep, like I said, I really, really like when the blue blends out. Um, so yeah, I really like the look of this. And if you see when I go in with the paintbrush, I'm kind of, I'm very, very careful not to just overwhelm all of the crayon with water so that it doesn't fully blend out. So yeah, there's like bits of white in there and then you can still see that difference in texture that I was talking about. Yeah, I definitely really, really like the sheep. And yeah, as I go, please let me know what, or, or if you like any of these animals that I'm painting, or if there's any that you prefer, or yeah, things that I could improve upon. I'm always down to hear some, some constructive criticism to try to get better and improve. And I know this sketchbook was just kind of a fun way um, to go about a fun page of doodles, um, very low effort, um, not very, it's not very intimidating to use as well. Whereas I don't know why, but I personally find when I'm using watercolor paints that they're much more intimidating to use. It might also be because they're more expensive. And so it stresses me out a little bit to be using them. Whereas, yeah, the crayons are I mean, like I said, I found them randomly in my parents' house, so I'm actually not sure how good of quality they are or if they're expensive or anything like that. I have absolutely no idea, but yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so kind of as you can see, I actually really like how the water is blending out the tortoise, the legs here. Yeah, the dark green seems to blend pretty nicely as well. I didn't want to overwhelm it with water again to kind of leave some white space there and same with the shell. The brown the brown actually seemed to be blending out pretty nicely too. Even though it didn't really with the in the on the cougar above, the brown wasn't super blendable there. But yeah, we're back to the weasel, which again, I think I'd have to say that the weasel's my favorite animal that I made in this um sketchbook spread. Yeah. Partially because I actually drew it out pretty nicely <laughs> as opposed to like the armadillo or something, but then also because I love the blue and I love how it's blending. I just think it looks really, really cool. Um, and that was definitely the effect that I was generally going for, but you know, that's okay that it doesn't work out with all of them. Well, yeah. Um, yeah, that's the end of the painting of the animals. Um, but as usual, I need to write out the names of all the animals, even though I think it's pretty obvious for the most part, maybe except for the sloth. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching all these little watercolor doodles, and I hope that maybe it helped to inspire you to paint them as well or create something if you're having an artist block or anything like that. I always have a really fun time working with watercolor crayons, so I really always try to encourage people um, to use them as well. It's just an awesome way to loosen up a little bit 
And yeah, the fact that they're not intimidating to use at all is really, really nice and really, really helpful. Um, so yeah, just let me know everyone in the comments. Um, yeah, which of these animals was your favorite? I would love to know. Um, and like I said, for me, I think it was, it's pretty obvious. I think I really preferred the weasel. If I had to pick my least favorite, I, I think it would be the slop um, or the armadillo. Yeah, one of the first two, but that's okay. You know, you win some, you lose some. But yeah, anyway, thanks again so much for watching you guys. And I hope all of you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all next week. Bye.